Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. What are you guys doing for New Year's? Holy shit, you gotta see what's going on, man, in New York City. It's fucking... This crazy party going on, right? It's uh, the Rothschild Illuminati party. You remember where they eat babies? Oh, shit. These guys are going off the fucking... Going crazy, man. They're going crazy. Hold on a sec. So, so there's a party, right? There's a party down... Let me read some of the notes, right? It's just... Uh, there was this crazy party. I show some images first, right? And then I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about it, right? This is crazy, man. So, so this was. You remember in the uh, two, in in 1972, the Rothschilds they held this crazy party, right? Now look at the look at the table setting, right? This is just one of the images, right? It's a baby. Ah, fucking baby's got no legs. Here's a baby's head with with a fucking hole in it and the eyeballs showing, right? And the, and this this chairs around the table, right? This is the table setting, right? What other kind of images we got? Here's here's a this is the modern one, right? This is like some I don't know trans fucking muscle lady. Uh, here's some here's some rich cocksuckers getting pulled around. That's a dude. That's a dude right there. It's, it's got that's a there's a there's a ball sack under there. What else, man? Go this way. Go this way. Some, some rich guys, right? Oh, it was so cool, man! Fucking Rothschilds. Right? Now this is the, the, the stir, rather disturbing image. That's the uh, a modern one. The chick with the horns. You see the fucking horns? I don't know why her face doesn't pop in. She's got a, a bird on her. She's carrying a bird or some shit. Oops. It's like a macho man. Hey, got some some tattoo chicks. What's going on here, man? What is this? This is this is a, a New Year's New Year's Eve party, right? Rothschilds Illuminati. So I'll get back to the images in a second, but let's look at um, let's look at some of of what's going on because this has historically been viewed as like they drink the blood of babies and it's satanic. Let's find out if it is. Right. So when, this is an inside peek. This is the uh, New York Post reporting right here in New York City. It's an it's a it's a party. It's going to be in Brooklyn, <laughs> close by. All right. So let's see. Uh, an inside peek at the erotic New Year's Eve. Illuminati ball. That's how it's built, the Illuminati ball, right? right? In this age, in this day and age, uh, risque can be risky. But Cynthia Von Bueller is bringing sexy back to New York City. The illustrator has thrown, by her own estimation, hundreds of over the top parties over almost three decades. But this year marks her first ever New Year's Eve bash. And she's going all out, hosting a massive eyes wide shut style blowout for 800 guests at the Williamsburg Savings Bank Tower. That's here in that's here in Brooklyn. It's on the other side of Brooklyn, north side of Brooklyn. Attendees who are shelling out 200 to 400 dollars per ticket are coming from all over the world, Amsterdam, Germany, Australia, said Von Buren, 54 years old. We have people flying in just for this. Now, as a, as a, as a top-end party, right, two to $400 is not a lot, right? Some of those, some of those sit-down parties are, you know, $3,000, $5,000, $25,000 a plate. So it's not, it's not that high-end, which is... Rather interesting. New York has become more sanitized. And this old school underground, and this is old school underground craziness. Although Von Bueller makes clear the Illuminati ball is not a sex party, there is no mistaking the tantalizing factor. <clears throat> Hers is a sophisticated, fun, br fun brand of sexiness, giving guests the old fashioned thrill of the tease. Is that all it is? I don't know. The Rothschild banking family? That's where this comes from. We're going we're to get to it, right? Uh, at the December uh, 35th, uh, at the December 31st bash, there will, there will be a human cake <laughs> with a model's face 
hands and feet sticking out of the body-shaped dessert. With a swimming mermaid in a tank, Von Bueller plans to create her own version of New Year's Eve ball drop. Acrobats descending from the bank's framed stained glass dome. <laughs> this sounds like it's crazy. You know, it's some you definitely want to check it out, right? And then there's Kama Dudula. Kama Duhuni. <laughs> the cow god goddess and her four mer mermaids. <laughs> Start that again. The, and then there's Kam. It's a long Indian word, Kamaduhuni, the cow goddess and her four maidens. You can milk the maiden with it has fake breasts and also taste her milk with a baby bottle, the host said. Although she doesn't want to give away too much of the plot line, she reveals that the New Year's Eve uh, story centers around human-animal hybrids who have escaped the lab including half-woman, half-bird sirens. By Von Buren's, uh, by day, Von Buren is a new uh, medal-winning winning illustrator, blah, blah, blah. She writes books. She was inspired by photos of Harris Maria Harris, Maria Helen D. Rothschild, 1972 Surrealist Ball, right? The Rothschild 1972 Surrealist Ball. That's where uh, S Salvatore Dali attended, right? This is like the beginning of all this Illuminati uh, craziness, right? It was a party held in the Rothschild's 80-suite mansion in France, right? Right. This was Maria Rothschild's Surreal Ball, one of the greatest parties of all time. A glamorous French socialite. Maria Helen, a member of the prominent Rothschild banking family, was known as one of Paris's most notable 20th century saloniers. I don't know what that means. And it has nothing to do with black magic, she says. I'm not into uh, the occult at all, von Bueller noted. For her, the whole idea of the Illuminati ball, it's an Illuminati that has been started to help animals and the environment. Help animals and the environment? They're flying people in from France and Germany and Australia and whatever the fuck, right? And, and, there's, and the girl is wrapped in, a, in, a, in a, a fur coat, right? She's sitting on a dead animal, right? I don't know about that. It all started in 2011 when married Berkshire natives who had long been hosting wild events whatever right so it's gotten to the point where the artist who has commissioned by steven spielberg blah 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 she also likes creating her own world that's why attendees to the black tie new york eve party will be given masks and high-paying vips will receive watches that grant them entrance to an upstairs space where a dancer will, will perform realistic interactions. The funny thing is, it's my least favorite holiday, Van Buren admits. A lot of times, New Year's Eve is just about drinking, but this party could really change your life. Ah. So what, so what, are, we, what are we looking at here? Is this, is this a... Did we stumble on a, a, a satanic ritual of some sort? Are they doing it now out in the open, right? Right. There they are, right? They're, they're gathering. Got the tranny guy. You got a lot of strange, muscular women. And the most disturbing image is the baby, right? That This is from 1972. This is not the current party planner is not uh, advertising this. This is just a clip I found from the original party that inspired her to do this, right? Now, is she catering to a, to a, a select crowd of Satanists? Look, he's got this fucking guy. He's got this woman's got a fucking cow head on her. And this is a two-faced guy. Right? These are the original images from '72. Right? And there we are today, right? Again, you got the tattoo chicks, tattoo tattoo chicks, and homo buddy. <laughs> right? 
And there's the fur coat I was talking about. So she's sitting on top of a fur, which is very unusual. I don't know, man. It's all, it's all, it's very interesting, right? So I wasn't invited, <laughs> so I won't be there. But anyway, so that's the. Uh, are we gonna? Are we gonna see? Uh, I would love to get inside there and see. Is are they gonna do the, uh, the baby sacrifices? Now, is this is this really a, is this a real thing? Is what I'm trying to say, right? Is this is there really a Illuminati class of people and, and the Rothschilds, right? So it is. It is in fact a money trap. It's a money lure, right? It's the Rothschild money, the bankers, right? And they bring these people into their wild circle of 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 uh, extravagance and more and and uh, and it 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 defies the common it defies common you know New Year's Eve you know popping the corks and 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 uh, and and wishing a better New Year. See, the Rothschilds don't have to wish for a better New Year. Every every New Year is just as good as the last one, right? They got a, they got billions and billions of dollars. So I don't know. It's a I I don't know if it's connected in any way to the Rothschild banking family. Are these? Uh, I'd love to see a, a guest list of the eight hundred guests. Is it just something you want to go to because it's wild and wacky, and it's New York City and it's you know downtown Brooklyn? I don't know. We shall find out. I I mean you know if you if you, if anybody could get a hand get their hands on a guest list that would be rather interesting. Marcus Conti reporting.